Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. In this exam question video, we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the 2002 um, HC paper. That's question 19, and it's worth three marks. What I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once we read the question, you have about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready. All right, so the question says, the diagram summarizes one method used to, drink, uh, to treat water to make it suitable for drinking. This is that um, diagram. The treatment method illustrated on page 14, and this is meant to be that page 14, has four processes which can remove contaminants that may be found in water extracted from the lake. Select one of the four processes and explain how this process reduces the risk of infection from pathogens. And that's worth three marks. So when you're ready, pause the video and attend the question. Welcome back. Right, so the marking guideline says, because I mean the question says select one, so obviously only you've chosen one, not four. So select one of those processes, one of these, and explain how this helps reduce the risk of, of infection, right? So explain means um, if you have this actual stage, how does that help? So don't just say this stage helps, but how it helps. So in this, the dot point itself, or the actual marking guideline, also gives you more detail in terms of how you should answer that question. So it says, you need to name the process, describe the removal in terms of how it helps remove certain pathogens, and if these pathogens are removed, how will that reduce the risk of disease? So three things to get three marks. Name it, describe how this stage removes pathogens, and if these pathogens are removed, how will that reduce the risk of disease? If you didn't only two of them, you get two marks. If you did only one of them, you get one mark. Right, so you have to you have to choose one of those four. I've chosen the disinfection stage, but I'll quickly go over the answer for all four in case someone else took a different one. The coagulation stage. In the coagulation stage, you would have added a coagulant. What this coagulant does, it makes these suspended particles, which are all over the water, makes them clump up. And when it clumps up, then basically you've got these pathogens that stick to them. And that's how we remove some of the pathogens at this stage because the clumped up particles will remove some of the clumped up, uh, some of the pathogens which will, be, which will be sticking to that clump. Right, that's how the sedimentation or the coagulation stage helps. At the sedimentation stage, this is where we actually remove those clumps. So at the coagulation stage, that's where they start to appear. At the sedimentation stage, we actually start to remove the clumps. So we basically have the removal of the clumps, and that helps because when we remove the clumps, we also remove the pathogens that are stuck on the clumps. Right, so that's how the sedimentation stage would help. The filtration stage, which would be right here, number three. Um, so filtration stage, that's the stage, naming the stage. It helps remove because um, there is some filters. Some of the pathogens will be too big. They won't fit past the filters. And that means those pathogens will get stuck. And when they get stuck, they're not in water anymore. And that's how we remove the actual pathogens from the water. All right, that's how the filtration stage helps. And then disinfection stage helps because we add chlorine to water. And that chlorine kills most of the pathogens. And if the pathogens are gone, then there is nothing that, or less things that cause disease in the water. So this is basically just the idea of all those four points, but I'll go into disinfection more in detail and give you a sample answer. All right, so first what I wrote is the disinfection or sanitation stage, both of these are names for that stage, involves the addition of chlorine to water that has come from the filtration stage because this will have some of its pathogen removed, but many remain. So after the water has come from the filtration stage, most, quite a few pathogens will be removed, but not all, which means we still have another stage to get rid of the remaining ones, right? And this is where, obviously, the, um, the disinfection stage will come to play. And we talked about what happens here. We add chlorine to water. We haven't said yet what this chlorine does, but we'll talk about that now. All right, so then I said chlorine, which was added at the disinfection stage, is toxic to pathogens and will kill almost all microbes, which includes the pathogens, right? So that is why the chlorination stage is good because it will add this chlorine, which kills the, the actual pathogens. So now we've done two things. We have named the actual stage and we said how it would help kill pathogens. We haven't said yet what that means in terms of killing pathogens. And this is the last point. So this meant that tap water that's often used as drinking water will be pathogen free which will reduce the risk of the spread of disease, right? So because here you need to state, okay, pathogens cause disease. So if we remove the pathogens, we remove the, the cause of disease or one of the causes of disease. And that will get you your three marks, right? And this question came from this dot point. And students will gather, process, and analyze information from secondary sources to describe ways in which drinking water can be treated. And this was one of those ways. 
and use available evidence to explain how these methods would reduce the risk of infection from pathogens. Right? So here you can see we've got all of it in dot point. It's asking you to describe it, which it did, and then it's asking you how that reduces the risk of infection from pathogens. But I hope that was useful.